Hey travelers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring one of Sri Lanka's most iconic landmarks, Sigiriya, also known as the Lion Rock. Get ready to discover the rich history, breathtaking views and incredible stories behind this ancient fortress. We're talking about a massive rock fortress rising over 600 feet from the jungle floor, built by a king over 1500 years ago. Sigiriya is like something out of an Indiana Jones movie. We're going to climb it, explore its ruins, and soak in the history of this incredible place. So grab your water bottles, lace up your hiking boots, and get ready for an adventure. We're about to step back in time and uncover the secrets of Sigiriya. Let's do this. First things first, you've got to understand, Sigiriya isn't just some random rock. This place is legit. It's a marvel of ancient engineering and a testament to human creativity. We're talking UNESCO World Heritage Site Status. That's a big deal, folks. That means it's globally recognized as a site of outstanding universal value. Yeah, it's that cool. People from all over the world come to see this wonder. Located smack dab in the middle of Sri Lanka, in the Matali district, Sigiriya dominates the landscape. It's like the crown jewel of the region. This monolith, this giant rock, was once a royal palace. Imagine living in such a majestic place. Can you imagine? King Kasyapa, back in the 5th century, decided to build his crib on top of this thing. It was a bold move, to say the least. Talk about a room with a view. The vistas from up there are simply breathtaking. Now, King Kasyapa wasn't your average everyday ruler. He was a complex character with a dramatic story. He was known for being a bit of a tyrant, even killing his own father to ascend to the throne. His reign was marked by both brilliance and brutality. But hey, the guy had style. He knew how to make a statement. He built Siguria as an impenetrable fortress and a luxurious palace. It was both a stronghold and a symbol of his power. The thing is covered in history. Every corner has a story to tell. We're talking ancient gardens, intricate water systems, and these incredible frescoes, basically ancient paintings, that'll blow your mind. The artistry is unparalleled. And then there's the Lion's Gate, which we'll get to later. Trust me, it's epic. It's one of the most iconic features of Sigiriya. So we're not just talking about a pile of old rocks here. This is a masterpiece of ancient architecture. We're talking about a testament to human ingenuity, artistry and ambition. It's a place that inspires awe and wonder. Sigiriya is a place that will make you question everything you thought you knew about history, architecture and maybe even royalty. It's a site that challenges our understanding of the past. It's a place that'll make you realize how small we are in the grand scheme of things. Standing there, you can't help but feel a sense of humility. And trust me, when you're standing on top of that rock, looking out over the jungle, you'll feel that in your bones. It's a moment of pure connection with history and nature. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's so much more to uncover. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? The journey through Sigiriya's story is just beginning. All right, let's talk about the climb. Because getting to the top of Sigiriya is an adventure in itself. We're talking 1,200 steps, people. Yeah, you heard that right. 1,200 steps carved right into this massive rock face. But don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. The climb is broken up into sections with plenty of places to catch your breath and soak in the scenery. And trust me, the scenery is worth stopping for. As you ascend, the jungle unfolds beneath you. The higher you climb, the more breathtaking the views become. You'll pass through lush gardens, some of the oldest landscaped gardens in the world, fed by an ancient irrigation system that still works today. It's mind-blowing. You'll also encounter the famous mirror wall. Back in the day, this wall was polished so smooth that King Kasyapa could see his reflection in it. Today, it's covered in graffiti, but not the kind you're thinking. We're talking ancient graffiti, poems, and messages from visitors dating back centuries. It's like looking through a window into the past. And then there are the frescoes. These stunning paintings of celestial maidens are over 1500 years old and still vibrant. The colors are incredible, and the details are amazing. It's like stepping into an ancient art gallery, except this one is carved into the side of a cliff. The climb can be challenging, no doubt, but every step is worth it for the views, the history, and the sense of accomplishment you'll feel when you finally reach the top. Okay, we gotta talk about the Sigiriya frescoes for a minute, because these things are incredible. Imagine this, 
you're climbing this massive rock, sweating, probably questioning your life choices, and then boom, you turn a corner and you're face to face with these stunning paintings. They're tucked away in a sheltered pocket of the rock face, almost like they're hiding from the elements. These aren't just any paintings though. We're talking about art that survived for over 1500 years. The frescoes depict these graceful, almost ethereal women, believed to be celestial nymphs, or maybe even depictions of King Kasyapa's consorts. Their jewelry glitters, their clothes flow, and their expressions are captivating. The colors are what get me though. Even after all these centuries, the pigments are still vibrant. Deep reds, rich ochres, and brilliant greens pop against the weathered rock. It's like the artists just laid down their brushes yesterday. You can't help but wonder about the hands that created these masterpieces. What were they thinking? What inspired them? What was life like for them up on this rock all those years ago? The frescoes are like a portal to the past, a glimpse into the artistry and culture of ancient Sri Lanka. They're a reminder of the power of human creativity, and they'll leave you in awe long after you've descended from the rock. All right, we've made it this far. Now comes the really cool part, the Lion's Gate. This is where the adventure truly begins. This is where the name Lion Rock comes from, and it's one of the most iconic features of Sigeria. The sheer scale and grandeur of this place are simply breathtaking. Imagine this. You've conquered the steep climb, you've marveled at the frescoes, and now you're standing at the foot of a massive pair of lion's paws carved from the rock itself. These paws are a testament to the incredible craftsmanship of ancient times. These paws are all that remain of what was once a colossal lion statue. Its open mouth forming the entrance to the final ascent to the summit. It's hard to fathom the scale of the original statue, but even these remnants are awe-inspiring. Back in King Kasyapa's day, this whole gateway would have been plastered and painted, a fearsome and awe-inspiring sight. The colors and details would have been vivid, creating an imposing entrance. Can you imagine walking through the jaws of a giant lion to reach the king's palace? It must have been an experience that left visitors in awe and perhaps a bit of fear. Talk about making an entrance. The drama and grandeur of this gateway are unparalleled. Even though only the paws remain today, you can still feel the power of the place. The energy and history embedded in these stones are palpable. You can almost hear the echo of the king's footsteps as he passed through this gate. And you can almost feel the weight of the history that unfolded here. It's like stepping back in time. It's a humbling experience standing in the shadow of these giant paws, knowing that you're walking in the footsteps of kings and courtiers, soldiers and servants. The sense of history is overwhelming. It's a reminder that history isn't just something you read about in books. It's something you can touch, something you can feel. The tangible connection to the past is profound. And as you pass through the Lion's Gate and ascend the final steps to the summit, you can't help but feel a sense of anticipation. Each step brings you closer to the heart of this ancient fortress. You're about to enter the heart of Siguria, the place where King Kasyapa once ruled. This is where history comes alive and you become a part of the story. Reaching the summit of Siguria is like stepping into another world, a realm where time seems to stand still. Gone are the bustling crowds, the steep climbs, the whispers of the past, replaced by a serene silence that envelops you. Up here, it's just you, the wind, and the ruins of King Cassiopeia's palace, a testament to a bygone era. The view from the top is nothing short of breathtaking, a panorama that stretches as far as the eye can see. You can see for miles in every direction the lush green jungle stretching out before you like an endless emerald sea, a sight that fills you with awe. It's easy to see why King Kasyapa chose this spot for his palace, a fortress in the sky. Talk about a room with a view. The vistas are unparalleled. The ruins themselves are fascinating, each stone telling a story of its own. You can still make out the foundations of the king's chambers, the audience halls, the pleasure gardens, all meticulously planned and executed. It's not hard to imagine the grandeur and opulence that once defined this place, a palace that was the epitome of luxury. But the real magic of Siguria lies not just in its history, but in its serenity, a tranquility that is hard to find elsewhere. Up here above the world, you can't help but feel a sense of peace and tranquility, a moment of calm in a chaotic world. It's a place to reflect, to recharge, to connect with something larger than yourself, a sanctuary for the soul. 
And then, as you make your way back down, you encounter the water gardens, a marvel of ancient engineering. These aren't your average gardens, though. They are a blend of art and science. We're talking about some of the oldest landscape gardens in the world, complete with intricate fountains reflecting pools and terraces, each element carefully designed. The engineering behind these gardens is mind-blowing, a feat of ingenuity and creativity. They were designed to collect and channel rainwater, creating a series of cascading waterfalls and fountains, a symphony of water and stone. It's a testament to the ingenuity and skill of the ancient Sri Lankans, a legacy that has stood the test of time. Walking through the water gardens, you can feel the coolness of the water on your skin, hear the gentle splashing of the fountains, and smell the sweet fragrance of the flowers, a sensory delight. It's the perfect way to end your Sigiriya adventure, a journey through time and nature that leaves you with memories to cherish forever. So there you have it. Sigiriya, the Lion Rock, a place where history, nature, and human ingenuity collide. It's an experience that will stay with you long after you've left Sri Lanka. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Your support keeps the channel growing, and remember, subscribing could get you a shout-out. See you in the next adventure.